right. So integrity. Let's talk a little bit about integrity today. Let's do it. You know, with all this stuff going on with the SBF and all these exchanges, you know, right. maybe possibly hiding funds, it's it's now more important than ever to have integrity. And on this channel, right. you know, we're going to do that. I mean, we are going to keep our integrity as far as letting you guys know what we're into, what we're not. And I'm going to tell you right now, you know, as far as shilling or taking any money for you know promoting projects and doing stuff like right. that i mean this is something that i'm gonna stand very firmly and i hope you will too wes that oh absolutely you know, that we are just uh you know we're not gonna mess around with that is that how you feel i mean let me know how you that, feel about it we we are on the same page my friend i'm right there with you so yeah All right, everybody. Welcome to the Shiba Inu show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Let's look at Shiba Inu's price. Go ahead and jump on in the Shiba Inu. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's great. We like we like to open up with jokes, you guys. Um, but all, all jokes aside, you know, we really are not going to be shilling projects. We've talked about it in the past about maybe doing sponsored segments and reviews yeah. we're going to probably do a poll online with our our community and let, maybe we'll let the people let them decide if, if that's something we should do or not um, yeah I'm, I'm liking the i like the decision to just kind of review projects and talk about them and if we really like them that's our opinion you know yeah i like that too that being said um Anybody that is interested in a sponsorship, go ahead and send some ETH on over to the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it, man. That's it. We have gotten some love with some NFTs. We haven't ever taken direct payment yet. No, we're 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 yet. Yeah. Um. No, I'm with yeah. you, man. I like I like the creative ability for us to be able to review stuff that we like. And not have mm -hmm. that weight on our shoulders. You know, I, I know you watch BitBoy every day. He's been through the ringer with that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, and yeah. a couple of the other people we watch, you know, have, oh, yeah. have also been kind of gone after. And it's like, you know, it's not really worth um, that. We keep the creative and artistic freedom to do what we want on this podcast. I think that's where we both stand. Yeah, I think that's going to. I think that's going to take us a long way, man, if, you know, just keeping the integrity of the show, doing what we like, what we love to do, and that's to make people laugh and entertain and also teach them, you know? So, yeah, man. You ready? All right. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's dive on into the Bitcoin price chart here. Let's see where we're at. Looks like we're still hanging around 17,000, just kind of getting a little bounce if you, if you uh, zoom out to the maximum chart. You know, sixteen five to seventeen thousand. I mean, really, we're just staying in this range for a while. But yeah, as far as an entry goes, if you're just getting into crypto right now, you are, in my opinion, getting in at a beautiful price. Even if you go down a little bit, anywhere from seventeen down to eight thousand or whatever, it doesn't matter. Five years from now, when Bitcoin's at a hundred thousand, two hundred, three hundred thousand. Wherever it is, could be at half a million five years from now. Right. Um, it's not going to matter if you got in at seventeen thousand or if you got in at eight thousand. Who cares? You know, right. it's it's the long term view, which we still, you know, we take that view on this channel. Yeah. Did you notice over the weekend, man? Like it was just like did not move at all, man. It's insane. Yeah. yeah it was completely sideways crab action Dead on the weekend. Yeah, on the weekend, man. Usually that's like the most volatile time is during the weekends. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, we we like Bitcoin at this price, man. We we love it here. We're we're scooping, we're accumulating, we're having fun with it, and yeah. So, so the the content this week is uh, how we became Remora. So we're gonna get into it here. I know I came to you about you said uh, November of 2020, Wes, and. Yeah. I want you to tell the story a little bit in your own words. Uh, you know, I'll just take you a little background. It was getting close to Christmas time, 2020, and I just came mm -hmm. 
with the sense of urgency because I saw Bitcoin starting to run and the halving had just happened. And so I just, I drove to my buddy's house and I banged on the door and <laughs> he opened the door <laughs> and I just bombarded him. Like you are, you are doing this right now, but go ahead and tell, tell him Wes, what, what was your first thoughts when I got to the door? Uh, and I... So, you know, so so real quick, we we you know we want to tell these stories just so you guys kind of have an idea of who we are. We don't want y'all just thinking that we're just two random people, you know, trying to kick knowledge to you guys, and we don't know what we're doing or anything like that. So, you know, Siri came over to my house that day, and dude, I thought like you were on the run or something, man, like the way you were banging on the door. But uh, my first thought when you first told me about Bitcoin and crypto, I'm like. What are you talking about, dude? Like, you, like, are you okay? You know what I mean? Like, what, is, what are you talking about? So he kind of gave me the rundown, and it's just like anybody else. The first time you hear about crypto, you're like, all right, what is it? What is it used for, and why would I even buy it? So he kind of gave me the, ran, the, the rundown on what it is and everything like that. And for me, I just saw the numbers. I just looked at the chart, and it was a no-brainer. Like, you know, I, I'm— Bitcoin at freaking, I saw it back here, you know, at 300 and 3,000. And then when he came to my house, what, it was around like 14,000 or something when you came yeah. over. And I'm like, okay, so a year ago it was at 3,000 and now it's at 14. Yeah. So um, the hardest part for me was I had $40 to my name. You know, it was like a week or two or a couple of weeks before Christmas. And, you know, I got a five-year-old. He was four at the time. Um, and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm spending this money on what I have for Christmas. And he's like, I don't care what you do, like put it all in Bitcoin and, and trust me, you're, uh, you'll get that return back. And, you know, I just kind of, I had nothing which to is lose, a, which is a very, very bold statement to say to a father yeah. around Christmas time. Who's never even heard of crypto. I mean, you, yeah, you had just, heard, you had heard about Bitcoin before, I'm sure, but yeah, you like just vaguely. Yeah. It was you were yeah. pretty much com a complete noob, and I had been studying for, you know, four or five hours a day for the past six months, yeah. maybe even longer, and watching a lot of videos and stuff and learning. And yeah, I mean, I just I wanted to give you the sense of urgency because I knew we were starting to get that run, and yeah, even even if we weren't going to get the having pump to a hundred thousand, which is you know what I thought we were going to go to in in. Uh, you know, nobody's perfect. I didn't, I didn't predict the market. That was my mess up. I swore up and down. We're going to hit a hundred thousand. We're going to hit a hundred thousand. Yeah. I was on that bus. I was calling for 150 to 250,000. And you know what, to be honest though, I'm still calling for my 250 to $275,000 price target. You know, yeah. I, the problem is I called it for sooner than what it obviously is going to happen, but I'm still, that, that is still my target. And I'm not going to change that. Two hundred fifty to two hundred seventy-five thousand yeah. dollar Bitcoin price. I I'm not going to give you a time frame other than you know six months to a year and a half. That's you know because I don't want to try to narrow it down anymore because then you right. end up being wrong. So I'm right. not going to do that. But I'm still that bullish on Bitcoin, and there's pretty much nothing that's going to um, deter me from that price target. It's it's still my number one target that i'm looking at yeah yeah it's a it's a good target 250 240 I mean i see i'm a little more conservative on the price and that's only because i did get in at fourteen thousand, and the high was seventy thousand. and i'm with you man and there's a lot of people that are with you that thought it was going to go to a hundred plus thousand you know there, there's it's a very very small group that didn't think that so I'm, you know, I'm with you on that. You saw that thing run up from a thousand dollars to, you know, fourteen thousand. Me, I saw it run up from fourteen thousand to seventy. So I'm a little more conservative. I think that uh, I'm looking at like a hundred forty thousand for the next for the next top. But they, that's yeah. that's a definite conservative. Yeah, anywhere from a hundred to hundred fifty is conservative. My ultra yep. bullish is of course two fifty to two seventy five, and um. So, yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about, you know, we're going to go over to the our YouTube channel here and um, go to our actual channel. 
crypto yeah. memorial and you know we'd like to say thank you guys i mean we got 111 views in five days on our first podcast which is freaking great we got 43 subscribers you guys have been awesome also i want to give a shout out to maya and star um they're both starting their journey in crypto i told them to watch this mm -hmm. and uh completely new and you know the biggest thing for me when i got in was if you want to learn how to speak spanish you should hang around spanish people you should watch Spanish television. You should read Spanish books. You should try right. to learn Spanish uh, activities, you know, anything involving the language. You should try to involve yourself in. And likewise, if you're trying to learn crypto, you need to watch people that are talking about crypto. You need to l learn from people that are studying crypto and investing in crypto. And one of the best tools that you have at your fingertips is YouTube. I want to head over to uh, Chico Crypto. Big shout out to him. If it wasn't for him, I would not be anywhere near what I am knowledgeable with DeFi, anything. I When I got in in 2020, Chico was talking about the Uniswap airdrop. I didn't yeah. even have a, a bank account set up proper yet. I was rushing to get my driver's license ID um, sorted out so that I could go get my bank account open, so that I could get my Robinhood so that I could buy my Bitcoin, my Ethereum, and, you know, the MetaMask wallet and get all that set up. I was trying to rush to get the Uniswap airdrop. And what happened was uh, about two weeks after I got everything set up and learned how to do everything from just watching Chico, um, I missed the airdrop by two weeks. And yeah. it broke my heart because I did my first swap. I got Unibright tokens. That was my first one. I said, all right, I'm going to get the Uniswap. And two weeks yeah. <laughs> from the snapshot i missed that two i think it was two thousand dollars it was worth so that that set me up and i was like man you know that that hurt me but at the same time i'm i'm very thankful for the fact that you know chico puts that content out to teach yeah. you in the alpha so uh, you know we're not going to shill his channel all day but i'm going to tell you right now if you want to learn um DeFi and stuff he's going to be a little bit more advanced um, we're, we're kind of an intermediate channel, so we're going to help bridge you guys to the advanced stuff. Right. Um, Chico tells you straight up, uh, he, you know, <laughs> this is an intermediate to advanced channel and it's, you know, he speaks fluent crypto. So yep. I would suggest you watch him. Um, another one. Bef hey, real quick, bef before, before you move on, I just wanted to, um, to let these guys know that yeah chico is awesome and that was who i started watching you put me on chico and i'm gonna tell you right now just like uh, siri said if it's a little more advanced um and there's really not too many guys out there that are showing you you know how to do it step by step so this is very important to us because we didn't have that either if it wasn't for siri i wouldn't be where i am now knowing how to connect the wallet do DeFi, you know everything uh, you got to do your own research. You got to know who to run to. You got to know who to listen to. But that 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 means a lot to us because we came a long way learning how to do this these things on our own, and we just want to be able to help you guys on board and help you guys understand the mission. Back at you. I'm sorry. And yeah, no, that's 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 good because um, the next one I think the next very next person I started watching was Crypto Jeb. Uh, Crypto Jeb is amazing ta best ta online in my opinion yep. i uh and also you know th his crew they started their they forked did their own channel uh shout out to ta tim and and those guys t shroom and them over at investing bros yeah um you know he you know jeb got them started i watched ta tim not know anything literally not he was called non ta tim to yeah. being called ta tim so shout out to those guys they're doing their thing over there too and um Nothing but love to all of them. You know, we're, we don't get in the middle of any kind of scrabbles, squabbles, whatever you, whatever that word is. But I, I think that those guys are, you know, growing um, and doing their own channel. I think it's a good thing because Jeb is a leader and he he showed these guys how to do it. Now these yeah. guys are doing their own channel. I mean, that to mm -hmm. me, that's awesome. You yeah. know, and as long as there's no bad blood between them, which I don't think there is, I'm just I'm, it's really a good thing to see T.A. Tim stepping out, doing his thing. Yeah. And uh, Jeb's still doing his thing. I mean, Jeb is Jeb's not done. 
You know, he's he's still doing his TA. He's, in my opinion, the most um, educated when it comes to TA. Right. If you really want to learn your stuff, and, and a close second to him, I got to say it is Jordan Cameron. I, I watch him every night. Um, you know, he, he's got comedy along with it, and we I go in the chat over there, and we have – we have really cool chats and stuff. Um, that's the best chat room on YouTube, if you right. ask me. It's just funny. He, it's more laid back. Um, but these are all people that I think you should su- subscribe to because these are the people we watch right. every day. We don't we don't miss a video. If Chico puts one out, mm-hmm. Lark. Um, t- I want you to talk about Zombie, zombie. and Lark because yeah. those are – Yeah, talk about – give them a shout-out. Let's talk about Zombie and Lark. Yeah, Zombie uh, – Zombie's probably my favorite, man. I don't. I think it's just the length of his videos, and he brings TA, and he brings fundamentals, and he's got a good personality. I mean, he's he's easier he's easier to follow, and the things that he talks about are very relevant. So he he's probably one of my favorites um, out of all of them. Like one that I don't miss at all. Like every day, if he puts out a video, I'm watching it. And Absolutely. Lark, yeah, Lark is. Um, I feel like he's kind of popular talking about just you know the the fed meetings and the market in general as a whole uh, I, I feel like he, he he's bitcoin like he's a bitcoin i wouldn't say maxi but that's his number one is bitcoin that's usually all he talks about is bitcoin ethereum so um so yeah so yeah i would just want to say about lark um lark was was one of the ones that made a how to to use uh d5 with yeah. um several projects so i i respect the way lark teaches him and zombie both both of these guys are incredible if you if you start watching these guys every day you're gonna learn how to use DeFi. you're gonna learn how it it, you know here we are a channel trying to get our channel off and we're telling you to watch other channels right because if it weren't for learning from other people you can't really you know grow and and lark just explains things the best he's a very clear speaker very easy to understand that's that's why i love lark um zombie is is like you said he's really easy to understand he does great ta um and uh you know altcoin daily and cryptos are us let's let's go over to them Mm -hmm. altcoin daily first the twins um i've again we watch these guys every single day all the people we're showing you we watch ourselves every single day so we're not trying to tell you to do something that we don't do um, it takes me about an hour and a half every day to watch my videos. And for the last two years, I've watched every single video that these guys have put out. Yeah. Altcoin Daily, they do good with fundamentals. Altcoin Daily, the twins, they, they do a lot of fundamentals. The news, they they try to stay, you know, they don't they don't try to be on one side or the other. They, you know, they try to stay neutral on content and, and the news. And But, yeah, they do a good job over there. I like the twins. And then I'm going to let you, um, because I know BitBoy, we're going to give him a shout out too. I mean, Wes, I know you watch him every single day. I don't watch him every day, but I do have him on my uh, subscription list, and he's part of the community. I know there's got some controversial stuff going on sometimes, but in the end, you know, it's like we said last week, we're one big crypto family. We all got to, at some point, realize that. Right. You know, and a lot of some of these people we watch here (laughs) don't necessarily watch or like each other and it's like we don't care about that you know we're not getting in that it's the the main thing is that um you can learn from all these people and you as an as an investor you should not be listening to just one person and making your decisions you should listen to everybody right and form your own opinion and make your decisions yourself you're you're an adult you're an investor it's up to you ultimately. I could sit here and shill you something all day long. I could shill Wes something all day long. If Wes goes out and buys it and the price dumps, he comes back and gets mad at me. No, you can't do that. You are the only one that pushes the buy or sell button. And, we, you know, we want to tell you that up front on this episode. Yeah. I think that's very important. It is. Even if we're excited about something, guys, make your own decisions. You are a big boy, big girl. You make your own choices when you're doing investments. Right. So th- I'm going to put that out there. You know, I'm sure you feel the same way, Wes. Yeah, y- you make a good point. You know, there's too many people that 
they come on here and say, oh, well, you said something about this coin or you said something about that token. And you just can't do that. You, you make your own decisions. You're an investor. It's your money. You decide and you do your own research. That is very important. And it, and it, it means a lot to us, too. That's how we've made it this far. You know, people tell us about something and we research it. If we like it, we like it. If we don't, we don't. Or Sierra might like something that I don't, you know, vice versa. So, yeah, that, that's that's very important to us. All right, so we got Cryptos R Russ. Um, he's an overall just great analyst. He does charts. His charts look great. He does great content. Another another daily one. And, and what's cool about these guys, Cryptos R Us and Jordan Cameron, if you go watch Jordan's show, He's always, you know, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time before he makes fun of me, you know, because that's what Jordan does. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's going to make right. he's going to make fun of us at some yeah. point. You know, I guess that's that's our claim to fame is mm -hmm. that that's when we've made it when Jordan makes fun of you. Right. But um, uh, Crypt Crypto Casey, um, she is one of the few females in the space. She's got great content, great stuff. If you guys need to learn how to use a MetaMask, how to use um your wallets, your ledger. She's got a ton of videos on here. Mm -hmm. You know, 387,000 subscribers. She's really good. Um, and James from Investing Answers, um, Invest Answers, I'm sorry. He's really good. Macro, he's a Wall Street guy, but he's converted to crypto. Uh, he still does Tesla and stuff. So again, you know, a very, very crucial channel to watch. And we are leaving a couple people out here, but for the most part, I think we nailed our main uh, yeah. our main ones that we want you guys to subscribe to. Yeah. And, um, you know, we do have another couple episodes in store. We just wanted to give you guys our background, our story, let you know where we came from and where we're at now. Uh, yeah. Now we know how to use DeFi. We know how to use um, Arbitrum. And, you know, that's yeah. what we're going to be teaching you guys. So if you're a brand new, don't feel discouraged. We're going to have another short video that shows you where to get started. Uh, it's going to be a five to ten minute video of the things you need. If you have nothing right now, if you have no bank account, no cell phone, no laptop, those are the first three things. And we're going to make a short five to ten minute video explaining that yeah. um, after this podcast. But that's that's going to wrap it up, I think, for our for our yeah. journey. That that that's anything much else it. you want to add? No, I just wanted yeah, to. No, just uh, love to the community. Thank you guys for supporting us. If this is your first time watching us, please make sure you like the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting out content all the time, just like Siri said. We might do little five-minute videos just reviewing tokens and talking about different projects that are coming out. But, um, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the Crypto Remora. All right, guys. Peace out. Peace.